you know. Okay. All right. Uh, this is the agenda for the regular board meeting, Village of Burnham Board of Trustees, Cook County, Illinois, today is October 8, 2024. At this time, I will ask the clerk to call the roll, please. Trustee Cass? Here. Trustee Hodges? Here. Trustee Garcia? Trustee Freer? Trustee Richardson? Here. Trustee Claiborne. Here. Uh, we have a quorum present, so we stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. So lead us, Trustee Claiborne. The Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Right. 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 Well, hey, Travis, I'll be taking you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. That's the first thing, but yeah. um, I ask for the, uh, uh, the approval of the corrections of the minutes of the regular board meeting that will have on July 18, 2024. If there are any corrections to those minutes to, to be made, if you can let them know it now, any corrections to the, to the meeting for July 18, or is that any corrections for the meeting that was held on August 13, which is a special meeting, August 13, 2024. So, are there any corrections to either one of those minutes? You don't get those, do it. Okay, well, I will ask for a motion to. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of the meeting. We have a second. Second. The second one, Trustee Clayton. I'm sorry, for both of them or just. Both. I skipped both. Thank you. Trustee Pat? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Clayton? Yes. For those of you who have not been here before, then once the minutes are approved, we cannot go back and make any attempts. Um, if there's anyone that would like to speak from the community, if you will stand up and give us your name and your reason for addressing the board. Um, and you can do that in a few minutes. So please limit your comments to three minutes so we can move the meeting right along. Um, I will ask for a meeting to open the meeting to the public. I make a motion to open the meeting to the public. So that the motion on the floor by the trustee Clay Brooks, because we have a second? A second. And a second by trustee Hodges. Okay, well. Trustee Cass? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. Right, motion passed, so the meeting is now open to the public for public comments. Uh, Maria Rosales, uh, I just wanted to know if uh, if anybody else in the board endorses Harris and Walsh? What? what is it? Everybody on the board if, endorses Harris and Walls. Yeah, because I guess uh, I got a flyer on the mail of uh, the mayor endorsing them. So I just wanted to know if anybody else endorses Vice President Harris or, or Governor Walls. Okay. Are there any other questions? I didn't hear that question. <laughs> we don't legally have to answer that question. Yeah. Yeah. How you vote is private. Yeah. Yeah. Are there any other um, comments? Yeah. Let's go row by row. First row, that's it. Second row, anything? No. She had finished it. Oh, she sat it down. I guess you have to say, or you can stay. You, yeah, you, you're okay. Just let us know who you are. Uh, name is Leon Wallace. I came here because I know I spoke to Miss Richardson regarding a couple of things. I sent her a text message. One was for the light because there's pockets of lights on the block that are dark, and we need to get more lighting in the block. That's 142, 141 in Saginaw. We don't know why they didn't. When Kamei put the lighting out here probably years ago, mm -hmm. but the gap between the lighting seemed like it should be a little bit closer. I don't know if they measured it by 500 feet, 
1,000 feet in between lighting. Are the trees the all broken? The trees don't have anything. Uh, this is open area. And there's a lot of our dark. But my house have tree okay. issues. Okay, Cap. But that was one issue. The other issue was the some we have some tenants or people homeowners who want to play their music a little bit too loud. Mm -hmm. And they think that sometimes it's a disrespect for other homeowners because everybody doesn't want to listen to your music if you've got company over. Right. And that's an yeah, issue. And I tell people may have to work or whatever that's it right. may be, but everybody doesn't want to listen to it. Right. We have one or two people and it's between the generational people. It's sometimes it's more so that than anything. So sometimes you just don't want to hear and I say, why don't they change the ordinance time? So that means that if the police need to be called, that would be enough for them to check out. Another thing, the other thing was, why is the cause going over to Dalton instead of the village here? If we call the police and it's for a non-emergency, why don't the call still come here? That's the other thing. It shouldn't be a problem if you are, unless you're understaffed and you don't have enough people to work it, that may be a reason, but then sometimes when you call, they don't seem like that they want to answer your, your questions or anything. If you ask them, it seems like they, they have an attitude sometimes when you're asking the operators when you call. So sometimes, like I tell people, it's not always has to be a high crime issue or anything like that. It's just a point that every issue is important. Everything is important because every individual has an important issue to, to represent or to state. So that was just a few items. I had a little list that I know I was going to give to the mayor as well. Hey, can I answer all those? Well, we're closed seven days. Okay. Are there any other public comment? Okay. Are there any other public comment? I'll ask for a motion to close the meeting to the public. I make okay. a motion to close the meeting to the public. Can we have a second? Second. Second. Call the roll. Trustee Tapp? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. Uh, motion passed. So I'm going to have to uh, I'm gonna come to your question. I think Trustee Cap has something to add. So, as far as the noise ordinance goes, um, we would have to, it would probably be beneficial if we got more input, you know, from various uh, people of the community because um, we might well even um, put it in the form of a referendum. And that way, let me see what the uh, people of the community would think about it because. I mean, not that it's not a valid a complaint, it is, but the question is how should you address it? Uh, but you, you, you should call the police, though, and let the police know. Let the police decide okay. how loud it is. Well, Cap, that's another issue as well. If you decide to let the police do that, sometimes they feel as though that they don't have the tools. I've talked to enough CPD. I can tell you, they don't. Because the laws have changed and it's like they don't. 20 years ago, there's a lot more they could do. But because the laws that Congress and everybody has passed, they don't have the power to do the things they used to do. Even if you want to have a conversation, the first thing I mentioned to one of the operators, I said, what if I went over there and started talking to him, telling him, why don't you all turn your music down? He said, no, 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 don't do that. Mm -hmm. Because guess what? It's going to escalate. Yeah. In this day and time, it will escalate. Right. So we tell people, don't do it. If we call them, that's fine. But then it takes them because the first thing someone said, well, they're on a previous call. There's a lot of things that are going on. We get the gist of it. But no, they don't have the choice. And we tell them, just talk to them and tell them, you all need to turn your music down. You can be direct, but you can be respectful about it. And that's one of the things that we don't do. Well, we that, call, in my house, we call okay. and the officers show up. That may be you because you're trustee for no, one. No, I, <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah, I can say that only because you're a trustee. Officer, but no. next. Uh, 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 officer Coop, step forward a little bit. When well, you were on the oh, Chicago hold on, hold on. Police Department years ago, what did you have for loud music? Did you have a meter or anything? Or That's no? what we got. Uh, you okay. just would show up and okay. say your music loud, so, turn it down? We have no way of gauging whether or not it's too loud. Yeah. Okay. There was a level that me, it was a thing that was passed by law. 85 decibels was loud, too loud. Anything past that was too loud. You have a right to go, the police can go over there, they can tell the people to turn it down or else. Sir, is it from uh, people's cars or uh, the homes, parties? Or one parties, events, uh, gathering more so, home. We had one who had his car who was blasting his radio out his car. Yeah. He had his windows down. They do that. It's on 140, I, can get, I wouldn't give the address, but I can tell you in another conversation, I can tell you who it is. If you want me to give you that information, I can give that to you. 
But those are those. There's just a couple of people on that particular block on 142 in Saginaw. Also, that, the way over here, I did notice a light flickering on right on 140. That was, and near yeah, Saginaw yeah. was flickering. I noticed that on the way right. over here. Right. We have that light is is out, and then we have one right behind my house in the alley that is out. And sometimes I know if we call, I think uh, Stephanie. Sometimes she said, "Well, you can call Comet yourself and give that report." Well, if we call you, yes, you're true. sitting there, you can give that information because you may know the pinpoint area that they didn't number the polls and they don't give them letters and numbers. So we don't know where, where to call when we call Kamea. We could tell them, but we would have to go out there and find out what it is, the location they call them. I don't think they identify them by the poll numbers in the most, so just give them the address and the location where it is and they will take it from there. On their website, you could identify them too because I've done it. Actually, there's a map, Mr. Wallace, that you mm -hmm. want to comment and you yeah. You, you indicate it on the map. So the more the residents indicate it, the more then ComEd knows about the complaint. So you telling us doesn't help because it's a one time. So you you as a resident doing it and another resident that sees, sees an out, outage, it, it's better. If you get that call, if they get that being called. It's not a call, you go to the app mm -hmm. and you indicate the light that's out and it has to be a wooden pole. Mm. For it to yep. be combat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and as far as the calls going to uh, I mean Dalton, I mean Dalton is our uh, our dispatch uh, center per se. Our central we have central yes. dispatch. Um, mm -hmm. that's why the calls go into Dalton. And sometimes if you do call and somebody acted if they don't want to be bothered if you or they rude to you, whatever the case is. I mean, just document it, and then and the time you spoke to them, we can find out who it was. Mm -hmm. You know, we can find out who it was. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. You're not the first person who said that. Sometimes people act like they don't want to be bothered. <laughs> I mean, document it. I mean, get the time. Was it a male or female, whatever the case is? I mean, a day or week it is. I mean, the more specific information you can get, and we can find out who it was. Okay. okay. All right. Well, the streetlight question, we would have to, we need to look at it at night. Well, that's what right. I suggest. Yeah. 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 Go after the meeting. Okay, um, so thank you for your comments, everyone. So, um, so we need to, uh, we need to close. No, we did. Okay. okay, oh, uh, in the mayor's report, uh, I would just like to say that we've had a lot of I mean, safety work going on, and, and Dwayne been overseeing that as far as uh, new gas lines and, and un, uh, un, I mean, underground infrastructure and that sort of thing. So a lot of upgrades have been happening in the area, in the region here. So um, um, uh, public safety is always a, a paramount concern, not only for the village, but for the suppliers of the gas and whatever it is that they uh, bring into the uh, community. So um, we also, we've had, um, the county has been assisting us with some sewer cleaning and, and jet rods and, and uh, flushing sewers and that sort of a thing and, you know, try to prevent uh, flooding. We also uh, need the people to help us out a little bit more in the street. We have some people that cut the grass and they blow it out. Like to blow it out in the street, so we ask if they would not do that. If they would not do that, we really would appreciate it. And also, if they <coughs> sweep around the drains or sometimes or sweep around the curb, and so when it rains, all that trash and leaves and dirt doesn't, uh, it doesn't wash down to the sewer drain or the curb drain. So we appreciate that as well. Um, so uh, public uh, uh, public education, health, safety, and welfare. So keep there. No, sorry, I'm sorry. 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 Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I just have two items. Um, clerk's office will be closed Monday, October 14th, in observance of Indigenous Peoples Day. Early voting in South Suburban Cook County, the closest early voting here in the location for Burnham is Calumet City Library. They start October 24th to October 28th. October 21st. 
Will they have Monday through Friday from 9 to 5, and then on Saturdays from 9 to 5? Right. It's Sunday 10 to 4. It should be the 21st. I'm sorry, I, did, I picked up the last. Okay. Oh, well, for the record, it's the 21st, and I'll talk about the 21st. 21st. 21st, yeah. Back and be better with time. So, public education, health, safety, and welfare. Uh, Trustee Green. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. As, as you go through the town of South Collins, Oak Forest, from half Chicago Heights, Philly Park, Lansing, Madison, South Chicago Heights, and I can go on and on. And guess what? These towns all have veterans memorials. We do not have a veteran memorial. We are long overdue. So the Village of Burnham and MVETS post number 43 have joined together to, to create a memorial dedicated to the, our veterans. So we're asking everyone to get involved. We cannot, I repeat again, we cannot do it alone. Um, so if you have a you know a veteran or you have a loved one you would like to honor, please help us to make this happen. We are long overdue. We need your help. Our work here, the Village of Burnham, is continuous. It does not stop. So to refresh and or to reiterate, to reiterate is I uh, give you some of the following. The village has installed five AED defibrillators. Defibrillators are devices that apply an electric charge or current to the heart or to restore a normal heartbeat. It's a very important device to have. So we have, we have installed them at the village hall, the community center, senior center, water department, and the public works building. Body cameras have been purchased for our police department. We'd like to thank State Senator Sims and the law office of Theodore London and Associates for their free legal clinic that was held right here um, in our town. Vehicle stickers are still available. Your current registration is required. A discount is offered if you're 62 years or older a discount is offered. Our line, our lead line survey is completed. Lead line replacement will start in September of 2025. The Center for Hard to Recycle Material is located at South Suburban College on Tuesdays, 8 a.m. to 12 p.m., Thursdays, 1 to 5 p.m and the second and fourth Saturday every month from 9 to 1 p.m. Items accepted are electronics, small appliances, paper and plastic bottles. If you have any questions, you can call the college, 708-596-2000, extension 2442. The village of Burnham has hosted two blood drives this year thus far. Do you know donating blood is a time act that takes a little effort for the donor? The village has hosted two garage sales, a um, music fest. We had a community day. We had national night out, a job fair. We had a veterans memorial drive. We had a tech town hall meeting with the tech inspector, and we had a miniature golf event. Burnham continuously is moving forward. 
again, I just want to mention to you, we are continuously moving forward. If you have not signed up for the Code Red, please consider Code Red is a notification system. Um, it is to keep users informed and prepare for emergencies that, that may occur in your area, such as weather, water main breaks, or water notification. So we encourage you to please sign up for Code Red, and you can do so by talking to one of the ladies in the office. Christmas Toy Drive is accepting donations from November the 1st through December the 14th. We want to give our little uh, ones joy. We want to give joy to our children in our town. Christmas pop-up shop, December the 7th, 2024, at the Community Center, 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. It's an indoor event, and we are looking for vendors. Don't forget, this Saturday is the Firefighters Association Open House, October the 12th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And we're asking everyone to please come out to support our, our responders. Uh, please come to support our fire department. Refreshments and activities for all. Again, the mayor had mentioned our Cook County Build-Up Program has awarded the village $150,000 to assist with the flushing and cleaning of jet rotting of our sewer. Uh, and again, I always be aware of this, Rodney. If you see something, say something. <coughs> again, I must iterate. Burnham is moving forward. Thank you. Thank you. And the, uh... I forgot the I'm sorry. I have the fire calls for the month of August and September. For uh, August, there were 10 fire calls, six during the day and four at night. Ambulance calls, there were 65. They were really, really busy. There were 41 during the day and 24 during the night. And as I go through the list, the most important, the most troublesome one was trouble breathing. I guess with the type of weather that's going on, people have a lot of problems with uh, breathing. And for the month of September, there were seven calls, five during the day and two during the night. Ambulance calls again was 37. 27 during the day and 10 during the night. Again, the most important one was um, trouble breathing. Thank you. And see you Saturday. Yeah, thank you, Trustee Griff, for that report and your information. And add a little bit more to the lead lines. Um, the lead lines for the daycare centers are going to be changed out first here in the village. And right now, two houses, or individual houses that have daycare center, they lead lines have already been completed as of, as of now. So, and that will continue to do that. And Ed, if um, there's a sensitive issue, you know, when it comes down to children that's under six years old. So, well, thank you, Trustee Grant. For Public Works and Building, Trustee Claypool. Good evening. Good Discussion of, consideration of, and taking action to approve or not approve on hiring Alfonso Rocha for the public works position. Hello, good evening. Good evening. So, I'm Alfonso Rocha. I'm, I look forward to starting the team. Uh, you know, putting forward all my attributes and good uh, team choices to build uh, a better team here for the Public Works Department. And if my mind serves you well, you did say the first month you were working free and all. Uh, <laughs> that's under consideration still. Okay, right? okay. Yeah. okay does the board have any questions? Does the board have any questions? No. Okay, proceed, sir. I make a motion to approve on hiring Alfonso Rocho for the public works position. Okay, that's a motion on the by the trustee. I vote to approve Mr. Rocha's hiring. So could we have a second, please? Second. A second by the trustee Hart, but the clerk take the roll. Trustee Chow? Yes. Trustee Hunter? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. 
Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claiborne? Yes. A motion passed. You've lost the village of Discussion of, consideration of, and taking action to approve or not approve D. Anderson paving to do street repairs in Burnham. The cost is not to exceed $25,000. Funds from MFT will cover this cost. So sometimes uh, the street. Uh, you know, sometimes we have the street repaired and sometimes six months down the road it, it started like caving in again for whatever reason. So uh, as Wayne and I call it undermining. So I'm not exactly sure what causes it sometimes, but we do have a couple situations like that. Also, if we have a water main break or something, we have to dig up the street, then we have to go back and, uh, and to repair it. And that's what part of this will be. So we'll be doing this probably the next couple of weeks or so. so. I make a motion to approve D. Anderson payment to do street repairs in Burnham. The cost is not to exceed $25,000. Funds from the MFT will cover this cost. Make a motion. Yeah. Oh, by the way, the man in the trustee has any questions about it. Okay. Has he worked for us? Has he? Uh, has he uh, uh, before? Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Do okay. you have a second? Second. Oh, yeah. Yeah, second by Trustee Hardy. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claiborne? Yes. Motion passed. Thank you. We have that name. Thank you, Trustee Claiborne. Um, the ordinance resolution and plan. And Trustee Garcia, before you uh, proceed, are you gentlemen here, one with the car dealership? Yes. Yes. Right. Okay. Um, well, um, could you tell us a little bit about what you plan to do and, and how? Well, we plan to open up a used car dealership. Uh, I think it do a lot of good for everybody. Uh, we've been in business for over 25 years. Uh, we do. Uh, we have a unique program as far as the uh, quality of the cars, the way we treat customers, uh, everything. We try to have maybe 100 points special per car, and. Uh, Yes, and, they're full of. and you don't feel that the car to the north side of you will be an impact? Absolutely not. Did you say you do a 120 point inspection? Is that what you said? Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, I don't know if the board has any questions, but in the meantime, there's some cleanup that you need to do around the lot. Those bushes on the north side of the fence, I'd like for you to cut those. And the bushes on the east fence, I'd like for you to cut those and clean those up. And make sure there's no garbage and stuff around the area and they keep it clean in. You know, so you'll be next to the gas station, right? Absolutely. Right, sure. Do you have a curb cut or do you have to go around the back? Is there a cut in the curb so you can turn off Torrance? Or do you have to go around back? No, the on um, Torrance itself. The curb is cut? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Because I remember one time somebody was going there and it wasn't cut. But maybe that was a long time ago. Well, no, the guy may not be cut. Oh, okay. Yeah. One of those didn't have it cut. Right? It's, it's, it's right. next door, maybe? Yeah. yeah. All right. That was the only question I had. Okay. Any other questions? How long have you guys been um, selling cars? Is this your first go around over here? Not, of course, not here. What I'm saying, have you guys well, opened up any other dealership in the world? 25 years. 25 years. All right. I'm comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. I can always make things make sure keep things secure and clean. That's it. Would it be um, finance available or like all cash deals or yeah, all options that are available? All options. Finance cash. Why why did you um, choose Vernon site? Yeah. Why did you choose Vernon? Uh location wise. Uh, it's here, and uh, I think it'd be good for everyone. Like so, how do you feel that your cars will be different from the other car lot, and it's right next to you? I mean, will be right next to you. Yeah. yeah. Conversation is always good. Just like I said, we're gonna be unique as far as hand picking the cars, which, uh, what we buy, what's uh, needed out there, and we go through every single car. For my last question is, so what would be the oldest car you think you will have tomorrow? The oldest? I mean, no if, we do, if we're talking about classic cars, it would be in the 60s or 70s. But about, 10, about 15, 15 and up. About 15. Yeah. Okay. 
So, but did you have any other association with any other car dealership uh, in the suburbs, anywhere else? Do you have any other car dealerships anywhere else in the suburbs? No, currently no. Okay. Good evening. Discussion of consideration of a deep action to approve or not approve uh, the new business proposal for the used car dealership located at 145 59 for and 70. Okay. There's a motion approved by Trustee Garcia to I'll second it. Second by Trustee Chapel, Trustee Rowe. Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Motion passed. You ain't like Flynn. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have anything else to say? Thank you. Uh, finance, Trustee Cap. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Discussion of consideration of and taking action to approve the authorization of the payments of this month's bills. So I'd make a motion that we approve the uh, payment of this month's bills. Also, now the motion on approved by Trustee Cap to approve the bill for this month. Can we have a second, please? Second. Okay. And second by Trustee Claiborne for the Clay Talk Road. Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claiborne? Yes. Our motion passed. Thank you. Is that it, Trustee? Now I have one other item. One day last week, Leo Uribe and I cleaned up the viaduct on going south on Burnham Avenue all the way from our side to the Cal City side because there were some spots you couldn't walk. You got so bad. And the state was just there, too. I don't know why the state didn't. You know, like the state will clean the street, but not trim the branches. So Leo helped me, and it looks much better still. I checked today, so if you guys drive that way, you'll notice it's cut way back. You mean the bridge? Yeah, the bridge. Leo helped. Oh, thank you. Thank you. you guys. Oh, that's the call it a Thank you. I think Mr. Wallace. I thank you. I think Mr. Wallace wants you to come over to Torrance now. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Pope. <laughs> I, had a, I had a good helper, but even though he came with a rake. How, if we're going to trim branches, why would you show up with a rake? But whatever. It got done. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. Thank you. Um, public Utilities, Trustee Richardson. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Beginning December 1st, 2024, the water rate that we pay to Hammond will increase so four dollars and fourteen cents per one thousand gallons that's starting december first and uh we've had some issues with uh water loss so we've been doing different things to try to detect where the leak is coming from so uh just if um Currently, they're in the process of doing a system-wide leak detection. And all master meters will be tested for accuracy. And soon, we will start a zone analysis to try to find on the Chicago side of, uh, on the west side of the uh, east side. Of the of the east side of town where we use the Chicago water system. So we're trying to discover where we're losing water. So I guess some residents will be asked to uh, have someone come in and check from our water department. But we will notify you in advance before that happens. And starting October 1st, you can apply for help with uh, LAHI. October 1st, they start taking applications from households with adults 60 and older with disability and at least one child under five, and or if your service is disconnected. In mm -hmm. November 2nd, other uh, households can apply for assistance. So. Right now, you can apply for help if you have someone with a disability in your home or a child under five, mm -hmm. or if your electric service is off. Mm -hmm. There's a number you can call for.
1-800-571-2332. Thank you, Trustee Richardson, for your report. And, uh, and also, Robinson Engineer probably going to be sending out some a lead survey reports in the next week or two. And so we're just going to ask that the people, there will probably be some uh, information in there that people are probably not going to like, but um, so um, just read the information. If you have any questions, then give them a call. We'll try to answer them the best we can. But I think some people may be concerned about what would be the process if they went not going to go ask to check the water leakage. What's usually the process that they usually can go up throughout the year that people may not know about it? Well, one of the biggest issues with water leaks is running toilets. Yeah. And people do not understand so when you say, is your toilet leaking? First thing they said, oh, well, I don't have a leak. I don't have a leak. A leak could be external or it could be internal. And sometimes toilets run from the inside. If you hear it, I mean, running that means it's not sealing that the cap inside the tank. So that would run the water bill up significantly. That's what so they would do when they would drop the tablets in the Yeah, so if we drop the tablets in the, the tablets in the tank, and if the bowl turned blue, then that means it was leaking. Yes. You could hear it usually, so it's so bad. Yes. But some people may not know when the water man come by ash flat. Well, we normally, um, the office, the clerk's office, and does a survey like every week, and um, and our previous water building clerk uh, calls the people's up and she notices a high water in it. They use more water than normal. And she calls up and first thing they'll say, well, I don't have a leak. We don't have a leak. And that's the one lady's house, and I went and saw the leak myself, and she still said she didn't have a leak. Yes, you do. I saw it. I saw it. So we'll try to work with the people to try to solve that. Thank you. Thank you. Um, is that it? <coughs> okay, do we have any presentation or petitions? Oh, okay. Do we have any communication memorials or rest of Are you talking about parking regulation? Do you park regulation? No. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> no, I was talking about the thing is, I want to keep it so because I've had some people that don't understand how to walk in. So I'm just looking out for, for, the, for, the, for the people. Also, though, we do have some, we, we are in um, fall season, so that's the, uh, we got a lot of Halloween stuff going on. Um, hopefully we'll be able to put something together on um, Halloween night uh, from, from, uh, for Burnham. So when I mean, you go on trick or treating outside with the kids, we'll make sure everyone's safe. Um, but uh, we, our village hall, I think we have a table set up, some candy, you can come over here get some candy. Also, they're doing a trunk or treat at um, 600 Oakland Street at the community center free. It's going to be a lot of candy stuff over there. That's going to be at the Sandwich Community Center. That's going to be October 31st, Halloween. But before you go over there, Maybe stop by Village Hall and get some candy too. We'll be out there. Yeah. Yes, we will. We're going to be out there to, uh, to connect with uh, this candy. Also, um, they're doing a haunted house at the uh, CMPD is doing a haunted house. Um, it's going to be at Fenneman Park, October 11th through 26th. But that's on Fridays and Saturdays. And the address is Lincoln Avenue, um, the corner of Lincoln Avenue and Freeman Avenue. They're doing a haunted house over there. Um, also, before it gets too cold, I am interested. I would like to do like a another soccer tournament here in Burnham, but I need to get. I want to see how many people we have interest in soccer tournaments. So, if you know anybody who would like to participate, please call 773 437 9058 so I can get me a good team over there at Burnham Park because I want to bring some attention to Burnham Park over there. And we get more kids over there at Burnham Park. We got to bring the park district over there and we can see we can work over there. Um, so we get more uh, attention to that. And that is what I got to, uh, Okay, well, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Presentation of petitions, communication, memorial, mm -hmm. and that's what we do. Do you have any unfinished business? Yeah. Well, on the new business, uh, <coughs> I'm going to ask for a motion to um, I to end the regular meeting so we can go into executive session and when we have issues of pending litigation or, or termination of employees or disciplinary of employees and we cannot discuss that in public, we have to go into executive session 
So again, when we come back, and we'll see you. Then if not, then we'll see you next time. So on that note, okay. motion to go into closed session. Okay. I'll make a motion that we go into closed session. Got a motion to by Trustee Cap for closed session. We have a second. Second. Can you call it? Trustee Chapman. Second. Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hunter? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Quaker? Yes. Thank you.